Well, 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 wouldn't you know? We're on the second day of the fourth month of the 2018th year already. I feel like I just blinked and woke up and it was already April. Well, either way, today's an April Fool's. Today is the first Monday of the month, which means it's time for today's Mortgage Monday episode. By now, everyone should be settled into the new year, moving and grooving, and most importantly, shaping up for those summer beach and vacation selfies. But first, we got to get through those April showers and welcome that Texas heat. So let's get down to some business. So I'm kind of a statistic nerd, and unlike most of my friends, I spend my Friday nights getting lit by reading reports on the mortgage and housing industries, duh, and reading stats and where the F people moved last year. Well, luckily for me, Atlas Van Lines recently released their annual migration sur survey for 2017, and it came to the conclusion that nobody likes Texas anymore. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't believe it either. How dare they? I mean, there may be some truth to that, and it may have exaggerated just a little bit to get your attention. But in reality, seriously, this is the first time in almost 10 years that Texas has fallen outside of the top 10 for net inbound movements, according to that survey. Don't get me wrong, though. People are definitely still moving to Texas, and it seems like all of them are either moving to Austin or Houston because the traffic is showing no signs of getting any better anytime soon. But overall, more states are seeing an increase in inbound movements compared to Texas, especially in 2017. So where the hell are they moving? Well, per that survey, looks like they can't get enough of those Idaho potato skins or those twice-baked potatoes because Idaho is leading the pack with 65.1% of net inbound traffic, followed by Washington and Nevada in the third spot. I guess a lot of people are moving to Vegas. I like Vegas too. And I guess dysentery disease Finally got the best of them on the Oregon Trail because Oregon fell from the number one spot in 2016 to the number eight spot in 2017. Ouch. But Texas, however, isn't going to go down quietly or go down without swinging in true Texas fashion. And we led the pack in the number one spot in Atlas's new international destination group category, followed by California and Virginia. Texas also came in at number seven on the top 10 international origin movements. And all this is based on 7,748 international household goods moved by Atlas Van Lines in 2017. Other migration patterns on that, on that survey? Basically, people are still leaving New York, and that trend has continued for more than 20 years. And it's probably because it costs $3,000 for a 500 square foot studio apartment. That's in the city. That made me run away too, trust me, I used to live there. I said, no thank you, came back to Texas. And here in the South, I guess, uh, I guess a bunch of Sooner fans finally are saying bye Felicia and shifting gears to probably Texas more than likely because Oklahoma is now a net outbound state in 2017 after being fairly balanced uh, since 2010. I guess uh, people from Oklahoma are finally figuring out that Texas schools are where it's at. Bottom line, that migration study is pretty cool and gives you an indication of where people are moving in our great country. And I'll put a little link below for you to check it out for yourself. But that should do it for today. Hope you've enjoyed today's Mortgage Monday episode. Stay tuned for more stuff I do have in the works. And remember, I loan it so you can own it. Until next time. And can I ask a question? Where did, where did March go? Can we bring it back? I feel like it just came and gone and my spring break is just nowhere to be found. I haven't had a spring break since 2004. Adulting sucks.